but <laughs> definitely competition for sweater weather although sweater weather is always gonna be that girl hey. big fan okay <laughs> Hello friendos and welcome to my channel. I am DD and if this is your first time here, well hey girl and guy, you look cute. And if you are a returning viewer, okay, a subscriber to the BD Presents channel, what's a goodie, okay? We are back with more what? Things and stuff exactly, okay? Because it's the most wonderful time of the year. But first and foremost, we gotta go ahead and make sure that you're doing okay. Make sure that as we are heading toward the end of this year that you evaluate you know, the progress that you've made, okay? And if you haven't quite hit your goals, don't beat yourself up, okay? Give yourself grace, but also take accountability for whatever you need to fix, all right? So that you can make sure you're on top of it because there is still time, there's always time, okay? Make sure that you're asking God to help you through, and yes, now you see what happens when you are a subscriber to the BD Presents channel, you get a bit of an elevated, enhanced, encouraged greeting. And I would like that for all y'all, because I love y'all, you know what I mean? But you gotta go ahead and hit that button, all right? It's just a little red button, just a little YouTube doorbell, a little ding dong. Hey B, just came to see what you're up to. And you know, that way next time when you see the video, because it'll be in your feed, you know what I mean? You'll see the video and you'll hear the greeting. And you'll be like, yes, she's talking to me now. <laughs> but yes, now we got all of that out of the way. Chill out, okay? I got a jam-packed video for you, okay? Which seems to be the theme for this season. But I'm excited, because fall is officially here. It's time for sweaters. It's time for deep, beautiful colors on the nails, okay? It's time for all of the new products, all right? Because right now, this is the best time. The brands really tap in and deliver. And I love that for us, all right? So I'm gonna be talking about everything, well, at least what I've seen. It's probably, I'm gonna miss a few things. What I've seen in the stores that's new for the season, and all the exciting stuff and this is not limited to body care okay we're talking home essentials we're talking home fragrance you know what I mean all of the new we're gonna talk about so let's go ahead and jump right into it so first I'm gonna go ahead and talk about Mrs. Myers okay I'm a big fan of that brand all right have been for a few years now but I really tapped into the limited edition stuff about a year ago and I just love the classy way that they do things because it's very much like you know a nod to nature and I love that last year for winter time I picked up this scent this is from my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, be sure to go ahead and check me out over there. I post a lot in between times and between videos. This scent was really what winter feels like in me. Like it is perfect. I love it down and I hope it returns, okay? So I was waiting to see what they would do for fall and they've done stuff for spring and summer as well, but I'm a fall girl. So I was just counting down to the fall release and they did not disappoint. There are four new scents for fall that cross like their product line. So they do dish soap, hand soap, all-purpose cleaner and candles so you know they have a, a plethora of things to get into but let's go ahead and talk about those scents okay there is fall leaves acorn spice apple cider and elderberry and that group okay really puts you in the feel of the season already let alone the packaging the deep colors they're rich classy classic I love that and it's never doing too much but always giving enough like big fan okay <laughs> so I saw these products in Target and I picked up the elderberry in the all-purpose cleaner and the fall leaves in the dish soap so for fall leaves it says like walking in the woods on a sunlit afternoon the new fall leaf scent from Mrs. Meyer's clean day brings all the feels of fall the warm and earthy scent of crunching leaves will get you ready for the cozy season I like when a brand really gets in their bag with the description and it's very much on point because that is exactly 
exactly what this scent smells like. I was shook, okay? <laughs> I love, as y'all know, if you're not new to my channel, you know I love an earthy, woody anything, okay? So this was right up my alley, but it has a freshness and something nostalgic there that reminds me of like being a kid and going back to school, how the leaves are changing. You know that project where they would have you like take a leaf from outside and kind of trace it and stuff like that. Like that's what this scent is for me and I love scents that kind of bring those warm memories and things like that back and scent really does that. So this was a must for me and a little goes a long way. I really like their dish soap because you don't need a whole lot of it. It cleans super super well and the scent is not overpowering but it's there for the elderberry which is a scent that I purchased in the all-purpose cleaner let's go ahead and get into that tagline it says it is a harmony of harvested berries mingling with crisp autumn air doing a fruity or berry scent in the colder temperatures seasons always like is impressive to me <laughs> because typically I think berries fruity I think spring and summer so when a brand whether that's body care or home fragrance when they can do it in a way that's like polished for fall count me right on in it okay and that's what this is i already like elderberry products usually i get them in like a vitamin or like a cough medicine or something like that but victoria's secret also did an elderberry scent i did do a video on it and this is that thumbnail i will link it down below but yes that is a very nice becoming more popular trend in the space of body care. It was already happening in health and wellness, but also now in home essentials. I really like that. This scent to me is just a nice muted fruity scent, very much berry forward, but has some type of autonomous essence that I really do enjoy. And I think my house is gonna smell amazing using that in the all-purpose cleaner. I cannot wait. That is Mrs. Myers for fall 2024. And staying in that realm of like household essentials, I'm gonna talk about the new Dawn products. They also jumped into the ring and I was like, well, that's interesting <laughs> because who asked for this? I don't know, but they have three new scents in their power wash spray, which I'm a big fan of the spray. But they have new scents for fall, including pumpkin spice, <laughs> a fresh pine scent, and a frosted cranberry scent. Now, I haven't smelled any of these. I believe they are all available at Walmart. And for all the products that I mentioned in this video, I will link them below in my description box. So be sure to check there if you're interested in anything that I talk about today. Day. Now for me, fresh pine and frosted cranberry, they can kind of overlap into winter holiday. I see a lot of brands kind of double dipping, like they'll put it out in fall, but it's gonna stay through the end of the year. And it's cool, I like a good pine moment in the fall as well. But yeah, they have their new fall scents. If you are into pumpkin like that and you want the dishes to give a little pumpkin tease, then they, they did that for you. And I like that they presented the option. It's not for me, but I think it's cool that they just decided to do something fun for the season. So those are the new scents from Dawn. But now let's talk about home fragrance. So y'all know I love a good home fragrance moment. I'm usually using a plug-in from Bath & Body Works, but it's fine to branch out. And I always keep a Febreze or Glade room spray on deck. And both companies have come out with their limited edition scents for fall. So let's go ahead and talk about both. Now with Febreze, they, they have so many scents, it's crazy. And they kind of did like a two-parter. So let's start with the pumpkin roll. So pumpkin roll is, you know, traditional pumpkin spice, sugary bakery moment. It smells really nice. So if you are a fan of pumpkin and you like that vibe in the house, definitely I think this one was done super, super well. And it wasn't like just straight pumpkin spice. Like it's a bakery element too. So it's a little gourmand, which is fun. And they have a few other like gourmand scents which is nice. They also have cranberry crumble, and I love a cranberry anything, okay? <laughs> cranberry juice, cranberry spray, body care, let it down, all right? So for the cranberry crumble, their description says, make spirits merry and bright with the invigoratingly fresh splash of a breeze with this cranberry crumble scent. Your party guests will sniff and smile while you serve up this tartly sweet, 
or fighting spray. So go ahead, have an extra helping of cheer this holiday season. I like when a brand gives the marketing team the go ahead to get into things, okay? Because that is a description, all right? As you see, they mentioned holiday there because to me, I think this is for one time, all right? But also for fall. So I like this one. It does have that crust note. So if you're not a fan of those type of scents, then you may not like it. But if you are a gourmet person, you like a cranberry or like a pie something, this gives that. It was very nice and warm and comforting to me, so I liked it. They also have wax notes too. And that's really cool because I'm getting into wax notes lately. I probably do a separate video about like my favorite wax scent brands and scents and stuff like that. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you want to see it and leave a comment below. But yes, they also have the scent baked cinnamon apples. This was your classic apple pie scent with some cinnamon. So if you are into that, this is true to form, very well crafted, but you know, it's just the apple pie scent. Not really much to say, but it was nice. <laughs> and then they had my favorite of the gourmands is this sea salt, caramel, and maple. First of all, the packaging goes crazy. Okay, I love it. And last year they did a, last year they did Cozy Campfire. And that is, chefs okay i still have a bottle under my sink and i'm gonna bring it out <laughs> for my febreze collection from last year i had the cranberry tart spray the fig and plum which went crazy i love fig and plum for fall time like give me luxury you know what i mean and then the cozy campfire like this collection last year ate down but i'm very excited about this year's collection as well this year the sea salt caramel and maple so good okay it says every breath feels like an indulgence with the sea salt caramel and maple scent this gourmand aroma will warm your senses and make any space just a little sweeter not too often Y'all know, it's not too often I get into the, I wanna be gourmand bag. But this one, excellent. The maple isn't super, super like syrupy maple. It just adds a sweetness to this sea salt caramel little moment. I think it's amazing. It almost gives like a little butterscotch for me and I love butterscotch. So this one is, also probably one I'm gonna pick up. <laughs> Just because every now and then I might wanna bring that kind of, you know, rich caramely moment to the house. So I love this one of the Gourmand scents. Now for the fresh scents, cause you know, that's my vibe. They have their new pine scent. Every year I like that they kind of update their pine offering and this year is no different. They have the white pine and juniper berry. This made me think of golden berry mistletoe from Bath and Body Works, the body care last year. I did do a video on that scent and that collection. This is that thumbnail. I will link this down below. But such a nice fruity, fresh, almost airy pine scent not that heavy traditional pine which i love pine in any iteration baby i love it but this was like a fun playful one almost kind of like tree farm 2 from bath and body works which is like a lighter less like woody version of fresh balsam which is like the goat of all pine tree scents white pine and juniper berry was very nice i'm a big fan of it i will be purchasing it for my winter kind of home fragrance wardrobe but yes I like that it's out now just in case you know there is a second set of scents so there are three scents in the Lux line including crisp fall breeze cuddle weather and serene snowfall only one of those to me is truly for fall and that's the crisp fall breeze it says it has notes of amber and patchouli this autonomous blend features hints of patchouli and amber for a scent as fresh and inviting as the early October air Yes, it was, but I didn't love it because I don't love patchouli. You know, you might like it if you are a fan of that. Amber kind of helps, you know, <laughs> but it, it just wasn't for me. And the other two, I really like the Serene Snowfall because it, it 
puts me in the frame of that Mrs. Myers winter scent I was talking about. But all of those are out right now and I've seen them both at Target and Walmart. Again, I'll link everything below. But now let's go over to Glade. Now Glade think they slick. Okay, a couple of years ago, they put out like, I think their first new limited edition fall scents. And I feel like since then, they've just rehashed them <laughs> every year, which I mean, hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I think they kind of switch up some of them occasionally, but fall night long is one of the scents that they have been bringing back each year the same. It reminds me of like their version of sweater weather. It is a rich blend of crisp fall air, fire embers and dry cedar that create an alluring mood for festive fun it is definitely a banger like <laughs> definitely competition for sweater weather although sweater weather is always gonna be that girl but it's up there okay and i really enjoy the scent and i understand why they bring it back so they also have golden pumpkin and spice this comes in all the forms too. I forgot they also have candles as well. So it says, enjoy cozy vibes with a fragrance that blends pumpkin, star anise, and cinnamon to create an indulging mood for luxurious comfort. Actually, I think this is a newer version of their pumpkin scent. They do kind of get into their crafty bag with the pumpkin ones, and I have not I don't think I've seen this one before. They've done the first pumpkin lattes before. They've done pumpkin spice things up. This year is golden pumpkin and spice. So, okay, my bad, all right? <laughs> they have tried to update it same way for Breeze does. So I do like that. Autumn spiced apple, which is a newer version of their apple scent. They have their pine scent, which is twinkling pine and cedar. This one is not new. because so I think I have this one, hold on. So yeah, this is the Glade Twinkling Pine and Cedar. This actually was out last year because this can is from last year. My mom loves pine scents. She buys <laughs> in bulk a lot, um, but she didn't really love this one. I did because I like cedar. So I was with it, but I don't think she was a fan of the cedar. Options are plenty, okay, on both sides of the coin, whether you're for Breeze Gal or Glade Gal, or you, you know, meet in the middle. Let's do both, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> also got some new laundry scented things as well. From Downy, okay, the Fabric Softener Goats, okay? I did actually talk about one of the scents in a previous video. I think it was my Victoria's Secret every fall release video. This is that thumbnail, I'll link it below. So they have a new line of scent beads that are under this cozy, comfy collection. In that collection, there are three scents, which include Toasted Vanilla, Seaside Spot, and Metal Rain. Now, to me, the other two are just fresh scents that could really go for any season, but particularly, I would say spring. But the Toasted Vanilla, I believe, is their fall offering. I have been using this. I purchased it in the, like, trial size, <laughs> I guess, at the time. But since then, I've seen two additional sizes in Target and I really like it. It's a very soft, mild scent. Not really extra vanilla-y. To me, it almost smells like cozy cashmere from Bath & Body Works, which y'all know I'm a huge fan of. So a very nice, pleasant, warm, and cozy scent for your laundry, okay? And I think they saw what Bath & Body Works was over there doing, because you know, they got a line of scented products and there are different scents for seasons and things like that. So they was like, uh, y'all do what y'all do with the, with the bodies. Okay, we're gonna do what we do with the clothes, all right? <laughs> now let's go ahead and talk about, you know, body care, self-care things, all right? Starting with Dr. Teal's. Last year in the winter time is when I saw them do, I believe, their first, like, seasonal moment. And these are in Target. I purchased the, then I'll put a picture up on the screen. I was very much into it. It smells incredible. Okay. But they also wanted to do something for fall. So I'm here for it. They have warm autumn comfort and cozy vanilla season. Both scents are limited edition. And these two scents come in their foaming bath and their pure Epsom salt. So the warm autumn comfort has essential oils of cedarwood and orange. I'm excited. Okay, because once again, Cedarwood is getting its moment. All right, and I love that for Miss Cedarwood. I'm sure this one is going to fly off the shelves, but Cozy Vanilla Season says it has 
ginger and cardamom essential oils. Cardamom too is a herb that has been used a lot lately in body care and fragrance. I'm here for it, okay? I like that kind of vibe. So I'm excited about that one. I can't wait to see what both of these smell like. They are exclusive, I think, to Walmart, at least for the time being. And quiet as kept, Walmart gets a lot of the new products. So please do not sleep on Walmart. I know the narrative that Walmart is this, is that. But if we really want to keep it a buck, Walmart always gets the latest and the greatest. So please do not sleep on the Walmart because they're gonna have it if you're looking for it, okay? And then we gotta go ahead and talk about Miss Dove. <laughs> Last year, they came out with their holiday treats, which was a limited edition collection of body wash. I think at the time it was body wash, there was hand soap, and there was a third item. Oh, and there's also a scrub, like their body polish, but there was a fourth item last year. Can't remember what it was, but I did do a video on the collection last year. Here is that thumbnail. <laughs> I will link it below. But yes, this year they came back, and the collection now has been out for a while. At the time that I saw it, which was several months ago at this point, I wasn't able to get my hands on the actual like body washes because they weren't in stores or like some stores were getting pieces. It was a whole thing. And to be honest with you, that kind of rollout always kind of bothers me because it's like if I see it on somebody's story or they post about it, I should be able to go to the store and find it. But having to do like the cat and mouse thing, I don't have time for that, okay? But they have the products now online, walmart.com, because again, this is limited to Walmart. So this year they have two new scents and one returning. The returning is their cinnamon pumpkin pie. I was able to smell all the scents via their hand soap at Walmart. I was able to get the idea of what the scents actually would be like. Cinnamon pumpkin pie to me is just like you would think of sweet cinnamon pumpkin from Bath and Body Works. This this one is way more bakery for it because there is a pie element there, there so there's crust that whole thing but it's nice and rich and buttery smells good but just not my thing the one to get which you probably already know now because like i said it's been out for a while is the pecan butter crunch so the pecan butter crunch has rich buttery pecans, caramelized sugar, and warm vanilla for your skin. This scent smells so good in the vein of the sea salt caramel and maple from Febreze. You got that spray, and you go ahead and you know zhuzh up the house with that, and then go ahead and get yourself together with this buttery pecan golden deliciousness, okay? It doesn't give like you know, sickly sweet. It gives rich buttery. I love it so much, so I'm definitely going to get this one. My only issue is that they don't have lotions. Like, what's the problem? The third is the apple cider caramel, okay? Yes, the pecan butter crunch was like toffee, like pecan brittle, very nutty, a little hint of vanilla kind of toasted up perfection okay super delicious now the apple cider caramel was very much like you know the pine cones that you see around the holiday time like you know joanne's or michael's or something like that it smells like that to me but it's a little fresh like it's fresher it's not so heavy like those could be but it's a very true essence of fall type of scent so if you like that if you like champagne apple and honey from bath and body works if you like since it have like a hint of that spice note, this is the one for you. It was very refreshing to me. I think it's a nice fresh scent for fall. So that is the Dove Holiday Treats collection. I think they got it right this time versus last year. First time stepping out into that lane, you know what I mean? It can be a little scary, but I think they redeemed themselves. So the last thing that I wanna talk about in this video is going to be the Tree Hut collection for fall. I feel like I didn't really see a lot of people talking about it, but they have released their fall collection. And this year they only came out with two scents for 
waterfall. They have pumpkin pop and cherry rave. And each of the scents come in their body wash, scrub, and body butter, which is nice. You have the whole shebang. You know, everything that you need for your shower routine is right there. For pumpkin pop, it says, it is a jamming twist on the traditional scent of the season featuring pumpkin cider, apple, and a note of sandalwood. Y'all know. I love a sandalwood moment. So I'm definitely gonna have to check that out, okay? Because possibly the pumpkin spice part of it won't be so like overpowering. So I like the idea of it. And then they went for cherry, which is an odd reach to me for fall. Like I would have thought cranberry, but they went for cherry. It says the scent is an upbeat scent of dark cherry featuring raspberry, rhubarb, and a soft note of amber. I love a good cherry scent, but I don't necessarily think about cherries in the fall time, but the amber is there. So maybe that's kind of how we play into it. But yes, they have their new collection out. It's at Ulta also at Target. I'm not sure about Walmart, but again, everything that I mentioned in this video will be linked below. So yes, those are some, just some of the new things that are out across industry, okay, <laughs> for fall. And I love that so much. I'm so excited for fall season. Again, sweaters, deep nails, pretty hair color, gorgeous like deeper tone makeup you know what i'm saying you got your jackets you got your coats you got your cozy blankets oh, i'm so excited <laughs> but yes let me know if you like this kind of video and if you want a part two the part two could be an extension of like these type of products or if you want me to do a food specific video of all the fall treats let me know I think that's what I want to do because that sounds amazing. But yes, let me know and feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you like content like this. And feel free to subscribe, okay? Because more is on the way as usual, okay? But yes, thank you so much for watching. God bless you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.